Bye. Come in on the right foot. Finishing up my first glass. Alexa, volume seven. Welcome to Black Girl Chitter Chatter. First thing we're going to do is get wine down, give everybody time to come on in and collect because we're going to have a great night. I got a lot of things that I'm going to discuss with you guys. I have a lot of things I'm going to introduce. And I just want everybody to get familiar tonight with Black Girl Beauty, what we are, what we do, where we're going, what we offer, and who I am. I mean, a lot of people know me, but you don't really know what I'm doing. They have so many questions. What does she do? How does she do it? When does she do it? I'm going to answer all those questions tonight. And you guys feel free to tune in and ask questions, and mainly for the women. Men, tonight's really not about you guys. I know it's the man's world, but tonight we're focusing on the ladies, and we're going to tell you all about black girl beauty. So first things first. To give everybody time to get settled because it's a relaxed night first and foremost i want everyone to be relaxed and comfortable i got my uggs on tonight and my black girl beauty t-shirt of course and tonight we are having a great time as we get to know what black girl beauty is and tap into what we will be offering alexa volume six this actually alexa volume 10 because we can jam this is my type of music. <laughs> so we can jam and get comfortable while we fix our first drink. Alexa, volume eight. Can't have it too loud, you gotta let you hear what I'm saying. First things first, we're gonna get started with a drink. If you're drinking with me tonight, then I told you we will be drinking on Donato Select. This is a very good vodka, sponsored by a friend of mine. So this is kinda almost the only liquor that I'm drinking now. So we're gonna mix the vodka select, and we're also gonna have the <laughs> Taylor Port wine. It's a special drink that I'm mixing tonight. It's called Do Not O Play With Me. <laughs> Cause you won't be able to play with me after I have downed this drink. So first things we're gonna do is fix our drink and get ready. Finish this one up first. This is a simple concoction that I came up with. First. One shot of Donato. Just one shot now. Because the Taylor Port alone, if you know anything about it, big deal. And that goes inside our glass. I love my headphones, by the way. First thing we're gonna do, now we're gonna add in, second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add in our Taylor Port. If you know anything about the Taylor Port, you really only need one glass of this. So we're gonna mix two shots into with the Donato. This is gonna last us this entire hour. If you make this drink, actually we're doing three shots. If you can drink this drink by the time this whole live is over, oh, you a trooper. Because you only need one glass of Taylor Port on, and on, on your own by itself. Mixed with the Donato, absolutely, concoction. This is what we're drinking tonight, ladies. Black Girl Beauty. Get comfortable because we're going to break it all down and we're going to discuss Black Girl Beauty for the young women and the old women. And I might even bring in a special guest to have us kind of have a little go back and forth so we can really discuss these black girl issues from an, a young black girl's perspective as well as an older black girl's perspective because we want to get we want to get to the root of what's going on with black girls and what's going on with black girls in beauty and how the two go together it starts with confidence and we're going to tap into all of that and before i really get into the drinks and everything that we're doing i'm going to begin with a poem because that's basically what the night is about the night is basically about tapping into who you are and what it means to be beautiful. So 
So Alexa, pause. I'm gonna begin with this poem called Your Light. Alexa, pause. Your light. If you've ever wondered why nothing seems to go right, perhaps it's your inability to live within your light. You see, God has a purpose for each and every life, designated places, hidden tools and open spaces on different levels and heights. He will always reveal your purpose to you. The question is, when you realize yours, what will you do? Will you ignore the signs ahead of you? Choose to do what you know you shouldn't do? Or will you walk the road paved just for you? It won't be easy, but it will mold you. It will also reveal some things to you, maybe even steal what you believe to be true. But when you walk within your light, you find peace, wisdom, courage, and serenity. All that you seek is waiting for you somewhere within your light. So open your eyes and see, because it's time to get right, truth be told. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the root of black girl beauty, walking in your light, accepting your beauty for what it is exactly the way it is, and without any exceptions. In blackgirlbeauty.org, one of the main things that we focus on is confidence. We are here to, we are here to build your confidence so that you can be proud of the beauty that you hold inside. That is one of the main things that black girls struggle with, being able to love themselves where they are, who they are, and how they are. We are all different women. We come in different sizes, different shapes, different colors, different personalities, and different traits. And you don't have to be a black girl to recognize that. But you do have to be a black girl to live in that. Hello! <laughs> we are living in a melanated world. And we are here. It is 2021. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to embrace who you are, who be beautiful in your skin, confidently, positively, and expeditiously. Right now, time is of the essence. Because if you miss your opportunities right now in these moments, you're going to look up in 10 years and you're going to be real sad. So we're going to tap into Black Girl Beauty. You know how we're going to kick it off? We're going to start off with one little sip. <laughs> so if you mix your drink up right now, go ahead and tap your drink. Ooh, I mixed that up real good. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about me. My name, of course, is Uniqua Manigault. Uniqua Amanda Lynn Manigault. And I am 30 years old. I have been in the, the, I have been in the beauty business my entire life. Absolutely. Since the, I have pictures of me when I was in the salon sweeping at the age of five. My mother has been a cosmetological entrepreneur my entire life. So I began in the beauty business. I have always been this confident. I have always had this personality, but I have not always looked this way. I've gotten a little thicker in some places, gotten a little taller in other places. Hair has definitely taken some drastic changes. But one of the main things that I have always been is confident, ladies and gentlemen. And it's the confidence that has pushed me to get this far. And that is what we, that is the main point that we focus on when it comes to black girl beauty. Because when you are confident in who you are, you can be whoever you wanna be. You can reach heights that you wanna reach. You can go anywhere you wanna go when you are confident that you can get there. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are here, I want you to tap in, share these posts, tag a friend, let everybody know because we are discussing black girl beauty. I am an actress, model, poet, coach, and a friend. And I am here to share everything that I have with you because that is also a problem that we have as black girls. We don't share information. We don't want to help each other out. We're, we're so afraid that when the next woman gets what we got, she's going to fly off with it. But let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. No one can take what's meant for you. If the next woman came and took what you had and did it better than you, guess what? It wasn't for you. Maybe you were the vessel that she needed to get where she needed to go. And if you continue to push forward through whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to find whatever it is that you need to find. That is why I began with that poem, Your Light, which would be available, by the way, in Living in Truth, Volume 2, The Rebirth, coming out 
end of February. Be on the lookout for that. Your light. When you walk in your light, it don't matter what Susie Q, Tommy J, Angelica, Dio Pickles, Phil and Lil, Rugrats for you children. It doesn't matter what they're doing. When you walking in your light, their light can dim yours. Maybe you can put your torches together and make a bigger light. But when you're walking in your light, what God has for you, when you are focused on your path and your beauty, you can't be stopped. You can't be touched. Now we're going to move right along to some topics placed just for black girl beauty. Because I want to tell you everything that we offer and how we will be coming together. I have everything set up real, real good. Purple and gold, ladies and gentlemen, is royalty. So I represent that. And when it comes, when I'm telling you confidence is key, ladies and gentlemen, confidence is key. I have and you, you, can, you can see me and believe it because you probably believe it to be true as well. I have single-handedly convinced the world that my favorite color is purple. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It's not. It is blue. It has been blue my entire life. I woke up one morning after a car accident the whole revelation, and I'll tell you that story a little later on down in the past, and dyed my hair purple. I, just, I was blonde for years, and I wanted to pick a different color. I woke up. I'm like, okay, what color can I choose? Never in my life have I really worn purple. Never in my life have I come out my mouth and said, purple is my color. But I woke up and I decided, my mom said, what color do you want? I chose purple. And then it was so nice when I got it. I'm like, hey, I like this. I'm going to wear purple shoes every day. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, purple was not my color. I had not one pair of purple shoes. But I did have a few purple shirts, purple skirts, a couple of this and that. So I said, you know what? Until I get my purple shoe game up, I'm going to just wear purple every day. It turned into wear purple. Now everything is purple. And I had no idea, no idea that everyone in the world would assume that my favorite color is purple just because I'm wearing it. I had no idea the power that I had. I had no idea what I was capable of doing just by simply changing my hair color. That is black girl beauty, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I'm trying to tell you. You don't know the power that you have until you just decide to go out and do something based off of nothing other than you just doing it. Sometimes the answer that you need is inside of you, but you can't tap into it until you free yourself and allow yourself to just go and do it. As long as you are holding yourself back, as long as you are not confident in your ability to do everything that you think you can do, as long as you don't have faith in your black girl beauty, as long as you are not confident in your black girl beauty, you won't get anything you're trying to get. It starts with you, ladies and gentlemen, unlocking the power of you. That is also another book that I'm working on, The Power of You. It comes with fully equipped with flu step system, which I will break down in later conversations. This is Black Girl Beauty, ladies and gentlemen. Chitter chatter. Let's go ahead and take another one more sip. <laughs> Moving right along. Black Girl Beauty is a foundation that my mother and I have come together and decided to share with the world. We have been in beauty, we have been in makeup, we have been in hair, fashion, modeling, acting, poetry. There is so much to what my mother and I have been doing separate for years that we just really sat back one day and was like, you know what? We just need to bring this all together because she and I together have some of the, we're like, we're like magnets. What she doesn't have, I have. What I doesn't, what I don't have, she has. And we attract to each other just like magnets. And when we come together, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo, that fire is so amazing. That is black girl beauty, ladies and gentlemen. The older women coming together with the younger women to create something magical, something beautiful. We all, old, young, new, old, we all have something that we can learn from each other. We all know something that someone can use. Even the younger children, even children, the younger women, we can learn from each other if we stop fighting against each other so hard. Older to younger, we can really learn from each other if we stop being so against each other. See, older and younger don't really fight as much because the older generation have this whole idea of, you need to do what I say because I said it, period. No if, ands, no but. You need to do what I said because I said it. I worked hard to get here and my word means something. And that is true. 
We are not trying to take away the accolades that you ladies have acquired. We are not trying to demean who you are as a professional businesswoman. We are not even trying to say you're wrong. Sometimes the younger generation just wants you to understand that we also have a way of doing the same thing you did. We also know the same things you know. We also know a little bit more about what's going on in this day and time than you do. But if we come together, ladies and gentlemen, we can come together and make something beautiful mixed with old and new. There's nothing new under the sun. There is nothing new under the sun. The grass grows exactly the same. You know what is happening? That grass over there growing a little different type of green than this grass is growing. And that grass over there may not even be green. It's a little yellow. And that grass over there ain't even grass. It's just mud. And do you know why all these grasses, all these yards, are not the same color green? It's because... He ain't tell me when he using his fertilizer and I didn't tell her that she needed fertilizer and we didn't tell her that she should be maintaining her grass every month weekly. Do you see how if we just shared information, this is just a simple comparison. When you share information with your neighbors, we can come together and be a beautiful neighborhood. And that is black girl beauty, ladies and gentlemen. When women come together and build each other up, when women come together and share information, now we come together to gossip. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the news. I'm going to give you the tea, beauty. But we don't want to share information. If I'm building a business, I don't want to tell you something new that I might have learned that might possibly push my business to the next level, that might possibly push your business to the next level. And God forbid your neighbor get where they're going before you do. <laughs> oh, my Lord. What will you do? That is the problem with black girl beauty, ladies and gentlemen. That is why this, this platform is needed so that old, new however you want to twist that, can come together and be on a platform where we can learn and build from each other. Here, we teach black girl unity through acting, modeling, poetry, confidence, and beauty. We host fashion shows. We host events. We, we have a talk show and a podcast. Everything will be coming to you this year so that we can connect and build business-wise. Because one thing for sure, if we're not building financially, and we might as well stop building. I don't, I don't, I don't too much want to be your friend unless it's about food, because you know I like to eat. I don't know if I mentioned that, <laughs> but I do like to eat. So we can build on food, but that that conversation is so slim and so small. If it's not about financial wealth, at some point we got to put it on the back seat, because at the end of the day, your friends don't pay your bills. Neither does. Good relationship. Sometimes good relationship is just a good relationship. But if it's not financially keeping you stabilized, you need to go and let that go. And I'm going to just go ahead and tell you like that. That is black girl beauty, who we are trying to reach. We are trying to reach every young black woman that needs to be reached. And I'm saying needs to be reached because one thing for certain, and this is something that my mom has always told me, and life will prove it to be true. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Not before, no time before, because you, what I'm, and I'm saying that is that you can spend years, days, months, decades trying to preach to a crowd. But I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna fall on deaf ears if that crowd is not ready to receive whatever it is you're preaching. Well, you have to be a student that is willing to learn. You have to know that you need the information that's coming to you, not to say that it's not, needed for everyone it's just to say that if you are not open to change open to growth open to build you will not receive the information that is being thrown to you and that is one of the things that we also have to do i made a post a couple days ago about my toxic trait and it went over a couple people's head because i'm talking about my toxic trait i said my toxic trait is sometimes i just need to close my mouth and shut up sometimes i need to sit back relax and kick off my shoes all that Sometimes you just need to shut up. Shut, shut up. And not because you're demeaning yourself or putting yourself on the back. Sometimes you need to listen. Sometimes what, what, the, the, the sign that you need to catch, boom, 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 that's coming in your face, is the words that, that are being said to you. Sometimes you need to sit back, relax, kick off your shoes, and listen to what's being said to you. That's a note to my younger generation, to the kids my age. And when I say younger generation, I'm speaking 40 and under, 
40 and up. Now, 40 ain't really young, but I'm not going to give it 30 and up because I'm 30. It got to be at least 10 years older than me. So we're going to say the older generation is 40 and up and the younger generation is 40 and down. And those are the two generations that are constantly bumping heads, constantly going back and forth. And those are also the two generations that, that have the most knowledge to share with each other. Older women can learn so much from younger women. And younger women, obviously, can learn so much from new, from older women. Did I say that right? Younger women can learn from older women. Older women can learn from, learn from younger women. That's how that goes. And what we offer... Here at Black Girl Beauty, like I said again, we all, the main thing that we offer is confidence coaching. We can help you build your confidence, which will ultimately help you build your business and your brand and bring out who you really are. Because one thing that I've always struggled with when it comes to stepping out and just sharing myself with the world is fighting against who I am and who I need to be. That is something that you have to tap into as not even just a black woman, as a human being, period. Who you are. And who you want to be because sometimes who you are and who you want to be are not the same person and that doesn't make you fake that doesn't make you phony that doesn't mean you you're, you're not real because you want to be something that you're not it means you have goals and aspirations and you have to work to get there and sometimes who you want to be will call who you need to be sometimes who you need to be I got to use these words carefully because words are very powerful that's the difference between a good conversation and a bad conversation who you need to be sometimes will cost you most of the time anytime that's a good time who you need to be will cost you who you want to be because you got to set aside childish ways you got to set aside ignorance you have to set aside immaturity and that immaturity 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 I'm gonna say that again because that you can be 50 years old and immature that's a concept that we 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 stray away from. We run, we get away from the idea that just because you're older, you're more mature, you're more wise. That's not true. That's not true. They're also, the same that just because you're older, you're right. That's not true. Let's be clear. And this is a topic I'm going to talk. I'm going to touch on because it's very serious, especially in the women in the women community. You are not right just because you are grown. You when and especially when it comes to parent to child. You are not right just because you are the parent. Understand that. And your child is not disrespecting you just because they don't agree. And let's be clear. This is something I got to touch on because it's emotional to me. When your child tells you that you're not right without necessarily saying you're not right, you know, that's not true. I know that's not true. Something like that's not disrespect. I'm not calling you a liar. I'm not saying you're lying because you... What you what 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 I know to be true versus what you're saying to be true is not true. These are a lot of arguments that we can cease and desist between the young generation and the older generation so that we can have better communication. Conversations like that shut you down. Oh, you're disrespecting me. You you know what? If it's a, I can't even talk to you. Everything I say is disrespect. Like the, who wants to talk to somebody that tries to make them feel like the bad person in the conversation? That is something we have to get into. You're not always right. That goes, that's, that's in man versus woman, young versus old, you're not always right. And the, when you can tap into the idea that some, sometimes you not, you're wrong. Yeah, we're going to take a sip of that. Cause you, you hear what I said? Sometimes you're wrong. And it's not disrespect. Those are all topics. All these topics that I'm throwing out are conversations that we will be discussing in Black Girl Chitter Chatter on our, on our page, blackgirl.org. This is Black Girl Beauty, ladies and gentlemen. We are tapping into black girl issues. We are tapping into the root of what has dissembled us because we need to come together. It's about unity. It's about coming together. It's about being who we are confidently, beautifully, positively, and expeditiously because time is of the essence time is of the essence and we need to get exactly where we're going and the only way for us to push forward is to tap into what is halting us what is slowing you down what is keeping you from moving forward to where you want to go that is how you get to the next level once you can admit where you are admittance is the first step if you can admit that you have something holding you back sometimes it's not even an issue Sometimes it's just simply you. Sometimes you don't know what it is. 
But until you sit back and tap into the fact that something is halting you from confidently executing whatever it is that you need to execute, you can move forward. Black Girl Beauty, ladies and gentlemen, and we're tapping into it. We are going to go to our conversations that we need to discuss. It is 825. I'm moving right along. Who knew? Time is flying. Also, I want to let it be known. If you're drinking with me tonight, be sure that you have some water to refresh yourselves. Because we don't want anyone hyperventilating or, is that the right word? I think it is. Hyperventilating while they're on Black Girl Beauty Talk. Because let's just see, is my mother online? Miss Amanda, are you on? Because what we're going to do is we're going to have a conversation tonight between the older and the new. Because I want the older ladies to be able to have a voice in this conversation as well. Because I've said a lot of things that I, a lot of topics and conversations that I've run into just simply talking to colleagues, classmates, family and friends my age and older. Excuse me. When you tap into all those, we all have opinions. We all have an idea. Is that her? She is. Okay. Miss Amanda, can you go ahead and request to join in so we can have our conversation between the youth and the old? Because the, the mother and daughter is a, is a huge topic in black girl beauty. And let me see if I can add her in one second. Okay, no. It's inviting her to watch. Okay. I don't know. So we can actually come in. Hey, you guys. I also want to take a moment to tap into everyone that is tuned in with me here tonight. Hello. How you doing? I hope everyone is entertained and on topic with everything that we have going on. Because moving forward, this is going to be an open discussion for ladies only. Men are allowed to chime in, but we're tapping into black girl beauty issues and we're helping black girls move forward. Also, I forgot to mention... I don't even think I have it. I thought I did. This lipstick that I have on is called Beauty. This is a new color alert. No smudge. Tell your man to give you a kiss, ladies. Mm, your lipstick is not smudging. And I've been drinking my, lips, my drink this entire night. No smudge. This shade is called Beauty. And it will be available on Platitude.com. This is a Black Girl Beauty product. And we are tapping into it, ladies and gentlemen. This is beauty. Black girl beauty. Let's take one more sip. I wanted to... Oh, here it is. I wanted to... I'm at the slide up and find where she came in at because I see it. Do I see it? Miss Amanda, why would you be the only one Okay, you know what? If you would like to come in and share your opinions on the old generation versus the new generation, young or old, please let me know. And Quasha, I'm sorry, baby. I just, I just jumped in. I just needed you guys to jump in. That is my cousin. We are on live right now. Younger generation, we want to come in and share some of the issues that younger women are experiencing with older women because we want to tap into that so that we can come together and build. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Hey, Miss Dina, how are you doing? Everyone, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Miss Amanda, I don't know why I don't see your bring on the, the laptop. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick somebody. And we're going to come in and we're going to have an open discussion about some of the issues that we face as young. It's going to be a young lady first because we, um, we're, we're, we're first. Sorry about that. We're going to tap into us because on this live, we're going to speak to the younger generation. And we want to have a younger, a younger lady come in and discuss some issues that she may have experienced with an older black woman and, and, and how, how it affected her. Because what, what women fail to realize is when we come against each other and when we battle with each other, it hits a little differently. Because I know me personally, when a black woman come, when an older black woman come, when an older black woman hits me with a, a brick and I'm just trying to be great in my element. Like sometimes you're just trying to be the best that you can be in your field. Okay. So she's going to come on in <laughs> where well, I don't even have to add her in. So what we're going to do is before we add her into the live, we're going to have a younger woman come in and voice her opinion because I don't want 
anyone to think that I'm specifically talking about my mother because I'm not. I'm speaking about older women, period, because most of the time in my industry, I've always been working with older women or women that are just way into the business world. And it's a completely different it's a completely different animal, let me tell you. So, do we have any young ladies that are here that would like to come in and speak on some of the experiences that they have experienced working and dealing with older women, older black women? Because I want to be, I want to be specific. Older black women, when it comes to a younger black woman, are some of the hardest workers to deal with. And as a young black woman, I always try to be respectful and keep in line that we can't let everybody see us out here acting like this towards each other. But everybody don't keep that in mind. So, do we have, I'm going to just pick one of y'all if no one says anything. Because we want to know some things that you have experienced. You know, I got a few classmates on here. Who am I going to? Okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay. This woman here that I'm about to add is, um, was one of my, we were just super, super close in college. And she's also a, a sorority girl. So she has a whole lot of insight onto a whole nother world. And she can really just give opinion about working with older women and how that goes. Let's see if she answers. Thank you so much. You said my poem was beautiful. Oh my God. Thank you so much. My skin is popping. Roshonda, I love you guys. Okay, she didn't want to come in, so we're going to pick someone else. Let's see. Okay, Rashonda, let's go ahead and see what you're doing. I'm going to go ahead and bring you in on the camera. This. Okay, can't bring her on. Let's see. Have a, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. Come on over. Come on over. <laughs> we're going to have her join in. Miss Amanda, she's going to give her tea. Okay, I'm gonna slide my drinks out of the way. Let's see. Who is it? Yes, Miss London. Yes, you're coming in. We need you to speak. Miss Winston, I'm gonna give you one more call. Because as a sorority woman, as a sorority woman, we need your opinion. And I know you, working in the field that you're in, you have experienced older women and some of the things that, that, that we have been speaking on. And Miss Amanda, tell London to come on in. OMG, wait. No, come on. Tell this is my mother, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Amanda Manigot. I was speaking on her um, earlier. This is Black Girl Beauty, old gen older generation, and younger generation. Younger generation. Younger generation and the wiser generation coming together to build a beautiful dynasty because we need each other. Are you ready, Miss London? Let me know. Because we want to get a, well, you know what? We're going to come back to Miss London. You can drop away. Oh, who's on here? Miss Shaniqua. I did not see her. We're going to add in Miss Shaniqua. Oh, can't add her either. You know what? I definitely can add someone in. If you would like to add into season miss dina she's right the season generation <laughs> versus the unseasoned generation <laughs> we need a little bit more salt yes go ahead okay let us say a little something something because i said a little salt salt i'm gonna take a little sip show this ain't my thing tonight um but i heard her i was a speculator i was just trying to watch the not show a tonight. speculator <laughs> speculate this is my biggest <laughs> this is my biggest speculator you guys this face so, is for miss london so i decided to just show up but i love working with my daughter 
Um, I really do. But it's really, really hard. I don't want y'all to think that it's easy. And that's why we have, you know, some of the things that she would talk about. She can talk about from experience because as a coach, you know, as a coach, you know, I have to be firm with her. I, can, I don't treat her like she's my daughter. And I think that's where we bump heads at. It's definitely where we bump heads at. She, she wants to view me as the mother. And when I'm working, anybody who knows me knows I'm strictly business. So I'm still trying to learn their way of thinking. And I think that's why we ended up bringing in Black Girl Beauty, because we realized that there are some things we don't know about each other. And I'm going to give you a perfect example. What are you drinking? Oh, wine. I'm okay. the type of person that when I'm working, I have to work with a schedule I have to work in quietness, and I know that's weird, y'all. I can't listen to the radio, I can't watch TV, and I can't have distractions. When people come bothering me, I can't get nothing done. Unique will work with the TV on, the music on, the da 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 all of that. And, 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 and we're different, so you know, I tell her, listen, when, when you see me working, don't bother me. You know, but she's so used to doing her own thing. Because I know y'all young people, y'all can do a thousand things at the same time. But we're just talking about, like she said, it's all black girl beauty, getting to know one another, getting to understand one another. Unique posted a poem on the page in the group the other day. And, you know, I said, Unique, well, you know, I don't think that's appropriate mm. for... We definitely need to talk about you know, that. I don't think that's appropriate for the group and what we're doing, and you know, in the group. And your opinion was? My opinion was that... You see how we on camera and she doing it? Do you see this? This, this is Black Girl Beauty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm being coached on live. You know, if you watch my very first live that I did with my flash drive, she was doing this in the background. Like from from the background, she's in the back, like, tell them to do this. Like, and you can hear that. And that really distracts me. So this is you guys are finally getting to see it in front of the crowd. We're loud, huh? You see, this is you wonder if you ever wonder why Yaniqua is so loud. This is where it comes from. Meet my mother, you'll know why I'm so loud. Wow. Okay. All right. So the poem that I placed inside the group that she's speaking of is called um Pussy Cannot Be Weak. Pussy cannot be weak. And she felt like that wasn't the right poem for that group because of the language because i'm saying things like pussy and dick which are body parts i don't know if you guys know but it is the part of the body and we're reclaiming the word pussy because the world has turned it into a derogatory term a weak term something that means not as strong and let's be clear what is broken down in the poem is to explain to you how powerful the pussy really is and the pussy is more of a metaphor for women because we we subconsciously we don't think about it but it's the things that you words are powerful what you say to yourself what people say to you what you hear the music you listen to everything that you put inside your mind that you hear verbally is powerful so to hear someone refer to something as weak and say oh you're a pussy oh that's pussy you have one of those. We walk around with that in between our legs every day. We, we came into the world with it. So to hear someone demean something and call something weak that you were born with, it subconsciously does something to you. We have subconsciously convinced ourselves that we are weak. And you can be on this idea that, no, I'm not weak. I'm strong. I'm this. I'm that. There are moments in your life that you will experience where being powerful will come into play and the fact that you have placed in your mind that you are weaker than whatever it is you're up against could be dick could be another it uh, could be another pussy you have already you have already weakened your defense because and my and, and, and this is where you know oh one more thing explain. Go ahead. the thing about the main point was the language what i tried to explain to my mother which is one of the main things that we're going to be discussing when it comes to young versus older young versus seasoned excuse me, is the fact that language differs between the season and the young. I, 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 you, you know I cuss, right? You know I use profanity? I, I learned that. Okay, cool. Profanity. I need her to know I that. I heard it, you know, on my own. And what, 
out of respect for you. And it's not really nice you at guys. all. I, you know, I'm, God ain't done with me yet. But out of respect for my mother, out of respect for my elders, out of respect period, for who I am and the type of woman that I like to represent, I don't cuss in front of her. I don't cuss in front of adults. I don't use profanity in front of people that I feel are my elders. And I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go one step further. I don't allow my friends and family to use profanity around my mother. It's a respect thing. And, and a lot of, and this is the issue that the younger generation has with the older generation. Older generation see, will see that or hear that and classify it as you're being fake. You're not being yourself. You're not being who you really are. No, it's respect for you. How dare I sit in your face and be cussing how I cuss when I'm with the homies? How dare I do that? And if I were to do that, how would you address me? What type of punishment would you feel I deserve? Exactly. So me not express, and not, I don't even know what the word is, me not presenting myself to you in such a way that I would present myself to my friends is respect. Well, I'd like to chime in on that a little bit because basically the point that I brought out about the poem, to get back to the poem, the point that I brought out about that, timing is everything. You know, maybe if she would have brought the poem out and posted the poem after we had this conversation right here, we can receive it a little bit better. I want you to because receive it. Because the I don't want same you to. things that's going on in the world today were the same things we did 30 years ago and the same things our parents did 30 years before that. I'm glad so she said it. okay. We, we get it. But I think this generation here, you're more transparent. That's okay if you want to be transparent. We were more considerate of other people, of our elders, I think. And we, 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 we were, and we are more considerate. You, know, you guys are more open about y'all. Y'all have the attitude. I don't care. You know, I don't care what they thinking. I don't care. I post what I want on my page. I All do right. what I want. But reality is you should care. Reality is when you go to apply for reality a job, is you should do a lot of things that you don't do. When you go to apply for a job, they're Googling your name and they're pulling up your Facebook page. And they can see exactly what you're posting on the page. And it may cost you a job. And, and what does that mean? What I does mean, that, that job wasn't meant for you. What that means is that's limiting your opportunity of being able to provide more for your family because you want to say, I'm going to do what I want to do and say what I want to say. And I disagree with that. You know, I think that we should have limits to how far we go in the things that we say, even on social media. I don't care if it is your page, you know? So that's the difference between, I think, that's one of the difference between our generation and their generation. That is true. That they have yet to recognize what you say and what you do does matter. No, 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 and no, not no. only does it matter to you, it affects your family, your friends, your loved ones. We have definitely acknowledged that what you do and what you say matters. But the type of woman that I am, I can't speak for everybody, the type of woman that I am, I understand that everything has a consequence. It comes with being a woman of God, first of all, because it, it, being a woman of God does not say that you are going to be perfect. Absolutely. It just says that you are going to try to be as perfect as you can be, but God is not done with me yet. And, and, I, and I want to say this though. Sometimes it's not about, sometimes you know better. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know better. A lot of things that the young people do today, y'all, is very, very, intentional and they'll tell you was it not intentional they, when you guys did it was it not intentional when y'all did it was it not intentional when y'all did it this is the main topic ladies and gentlemen <laughs> older women have a bad habit of forgetting their their past like the older you get the older you get you will realize your parents are humans and they did the same things we did like i looked at I, I I tapped into. We want our kids to do better exactly, than what we did. and that's understandable. We understand that you want us to be better, but do not hold us to a level of inhumanity that just don't exist. Like something like we're not perfect, so to expect your child to be the perfect version of you, and you weren't the perfect version of you, is so bizarre. It's like understand that we will make mistakes. Understand that we are not perfect. Understand that we are not you. And even when we're placed in the same exact position that you were placed in, even if we happen to do exactly what you did the way you did it and it didn't work out for you, that's that that maybe that wasn't your path. 
it might work out for us because this is our path or it might not work out for us because this is our path but as a parent i think it's important for you to support us however however we decide to make these decisions versus trying to convince or trying not even convince because they parents don't try to convince they try to force you to do whatever they think is right for them to do and what if that was right for you and your time for how you needed to do it but it's completely the wrong way for us like because that's one thing that i think all parents experience like what your parents experience what you realize is there is nothing new under the sun and everything is the same but with time comes changes so the way things were handled in your time the season years is a little different than how it's handled in our time the unseasoned years now as far I'll, I'll use bullying as an example people got bullied back in your day i'm oh, sure no, okay cool because i didn't get bullied either like i don't re i don't remember bullying i don't remember bullying for real for real but what i'm saying is back in the day bullying was a little different than it is now like you can get bullied in class and bullying can go further to the internet and then from the internet it's back in the street from back we was i'm telling you internet was really just coming out like the end of my high school years so i couldn't even imagine what these kids are going through right now being able like let's just say a fight break out third period by seventh period or have the periods are these days i don't know I by seventh period to, uh, no, no 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 i'm not done with you yet one second one else. second by seventh period the whole thing is online so what i'm saying i'm saying that to say it's a little you can't really tell your child how to handle a situation that you would have handled because it's a little different than mom it's on it's on it's on it's on facebook now oh well babe well, it's a different that's conversation that's reason why you should be handling it different i'm that's what i'm saying you should handle it different instead of you know because a lot let me I tell you, you I, i'll tell you this because I, I, I i'm speaking I, I i'm speaking a lot generalization what i will say is sometimes what you should do is come to me and see if we can come to a conclusion oh, we don't do that uh, that was a question it was a question it was a question was asked on live <laughs> in front of everyone sitting here so clearly the answer needed to be so so I'm, you know what i'm gonna do this is black girl beauty ladies and gentlemen and we're gonna have a sip these are some of the topics that we are going to discuss. But see, this is the deal. You know, I, and this is what we're trying to bring to the forefront. That we do have to talk about these things. I believe Absolutely. that a lot of the problems in our community, in our households, whether it's a niece, a nephew, whether it's an aunt or uncle, whether it's even your own mother or a neighbor or a friend, is because of a lack of communication. Period. So I, it's my quest to get to know my daughter a little bit better every day. It's my quest to understand her way. And in turn, she needs to understand my way. And another Absolutely. thing you know, I like to say about young people, because young people, they like to say they're in charge of everything, but yet, but yet you know, they put us in their stuff. Let me you tell know, you something. I, I like her to handle everything for me. Stuff. You know, you know let me tell you, if you, if you really, Stuff. growth you know, is realizing your mom is right about everything like when you had like come here and drop some hearts if every time you're going through something you call your mama asking people what you should hey, say Leon. you said you we have to do that parents are under this delusion that we we don't want them to handle all that we want we want you to handle that we, oh, no. but stop that's what they hit you with that's what they hit you with. i don't want to be grown it's the worst decision i ever made i don't want to be grown no i don't that's that's we, we, we didn't today. know we didn't want to be grown oh, until we got grown. grown. <laughs> if you be grown tomorrow, you be grown all your We didn't know we didn't want to be grown until we got grown. It's, but you knew. You knew we were. Parents knew that we were going to get here. You know, they spent a lot of our time. Hey, if I could go back to high school. Hey, if I could have done this. You knew we were going to get here. So no. why does it have to be such a hard way once we're here? The no, thing just, about life I think in our generation, we were quick to want to do everything ourselves. This is not because, your generation anymore. And so your your generation is y'all want to be grown. We are. Y'all want to do it your Dirty way. Dirty thirty. You want to say it your way and do whatever you want to do and say whatever you As want to do. As a say. human would at the you age of thirty. Let me let me ask you guys a question, and we're just gonna be real. Very would you not want to be able to call somebody when you get into something? 
Would you not want to be able to reach out, reach out and touch somebody's hand? Would you not want to do that? Of course you would. You may not always be able to, but hey, I'm going to ring that bell to the doorbell break off. <laughs> if you want me to stop ringing that bell, here's a great idea. Before it breaks, take the doorbell off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, let me see what's going on. Yes, being grown is ghetto. Who decided we wanted to do that? <laughs> we, we, if we would have known then what we knew now, we would have been kids forever. Like, seriously, who, who wouldn't have stayed in college? That was the best time of our lives, and we didn't know. We were trying to be grown and get our own place and move out because parents were still paying tuition. When they're paying tuition, they want you to come home at a certain time. Not happening. Here we are at 30. This is Black Girl Beauty, ladies you know. and gentlemen. We are tapping into the things that Black girls need to tap into. We are having the conversations that we need to have. We are supporting each other, and we are building our businesses and our brand. That is one thing that I did not mention. My mother, can you silence? Oh. <laughs> she, you know what I mean? This is what I mean, ladies. We are live, and she's getting notifications. <laughs> silence, please. But my mom is actually coaching me. And it took me 30 years to sit back and decide, kick off my shoes and take off my, kick off my shoes and relax my feet. Let it all go to the SKB. Just kick it. Just kick it. So it took me 30 years to decide that I needed a coach. And dun, dun, dun. I was given one at birth. Look at God. That's what she looked like me. I think too that Another thing, I don't what do you know think? if this is generation or maybe it's just my daughter. I don't know. It might but be. I think, I think this younger generation, they want everything on a silver platter. They want I, think that's a, I think that's a human they thing. They want everything handed to them. And then when they get it, they don't appreciate and value it as much as we do. Why? Because I believe we work five times as hard as what they do today. Do you know that, that, you know that saying? You know, listen, you know that saying? Anything you don't work for, you take for granted. And as hard as it is for you to take that smack in the face, that's what it is. When you don't make your child work for anything, and I'm not saying that's what I had going on because I had to work. Oh, she was but working very girl. I told you in the, in the beginning of this live, I told you that I was five years old in the salon. Hey, London. No, don't speak to me. London's on time out. Hey, Miss Taylor. Hey, oh, hey. That's her name is um, not Miss Taylor. <laughs> I saw Paula on here earlier. I don't know if she's still on here. Your godmother was on here earlier. Yeah. Oh, yes, I did see her. Thank you to everyone that has tuned in thus far. And we, we have actually really, made really, it. Really, and we have a gift. I want you guys. Um, I'm trying to see. How <laughs> you know what? I forgot about the gift. We had a gift for them. I tell you what. I'm going to look at the whoever you know post in the comments, make shares and all of that good stuff. We will have a gift and we'll make that announcement next week. She'll make that announcement. So this is her live. She does Thursday night. I just stopped by. Tune in on her. Monday night. I, just, yeah, I Monday actually night, pulled her Monday in night, because right? I wanted. I told. I told everyone that we were going to have a discussion with old versus new, and I think this is something that we're going to do on her live as well. I'm adding this in on hers. No, we're going to no, have a. That's not include my live because my live on Monday night is about beauty, cosmetology, roll. cosmetology. Yeah, you do it on um, platitudes. But so let me I'm just, not going to invite you no more. Just I mention, try to be nice. Just to mention our strategy on Monday Say night more sip, lady. is my live at 8 o'clock p.m. And that's for my cosmetology professionals, beauty students, or small business owners. And in that live, I basically coach on different pointers on how to help you grow your business, how to build your hey. brand, and create the lifestyle that you've always dreamed of. But then on, on Tuesdays, what are we doing on Tuesdays? You doing a little poetry? Tuesday, Tackle Tuesday. We tackle something new on Tuesday. You do something that you've been meaning to do, something that you've been putting off. And ladies and gentlemen, right now, I wanted to have it ready for you guys tonight, but I didn't. I'm working on a poem that really just basically describes about it's, it's it's about black girl beauty because one of the main things that we're going to tap back into that we jump this is a little discussion thing that we're going to do it's called black girl chitter chatter well, i'm finished with the discussion so i'm going to leave and let her close out because i think it's about eight o'clock nine o'clock isn't it i don't know if anybody saw that i was in the middle of it. <laughs>
Like so I'm going to go ahead and let her go <laughs> so that this doesn't happen again. So go ahead but and... Anyway, before I go... Whoa, 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 whoa. Not before you go. You were already on that. Go ahead and go. Tuesday, also once a month, every, I think, second... I'll, I'll have more information about it. Every second Tuesday, we drop our podcast. That's when we will invite guests. And we'll, we'll know in advance. So if you guys want to be a guest on our podcast... Send us some information about you and what you do because we are looking for guests for our podcast. And we want to promote you as well. We want to be able to promote you. We want to be able to, you know, uh, it's all about black girl beauty. She doesn't have her shirt on. Come on. But but I wasn't supposed to be on her live. That's why I don't have a shirt on. You knew you were coming on. No, I did not know I was coming on your live. This was your live. You knew I was bringing you on, though. I told you. Yes, I did. No idea. This is one of those moments I was so telling you about earlier. Anyway, yes, Wednesday, I did. Wednesday, y'all, we want to promote help. So in the She's morning, talk about that. at 7 a.m. On Lisa. Know, is On Lisa going to come on? Is that Lisa? No, I'm saying. Oh, okay. For health yeah, and beauty. We'll, we'll have Shout you out, Auntie. Hey, Lisa. And I don't so think she's any, going to Anyway, we, on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m., we'll do a workout. And Wednesday evenings start in March, the first week in March. Unique was doing model aerobics. Y'all, it is so Get ready fun for it. And so exciting. But it is truly a workout. It's it's so, it's exciting. And so it's very I don't know. exciting. So that'll be on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. And on Thursday, it's Unique was show. And on Friday, listen for my Friday inspiration, you guys. Tomorrow, look for my Friday inspiration. And I'm gonna go and let her close out on her own show. Okay. It was a pleasure. It was a plump pleasing pleasure. Whoa, well what was it? What was it? What was it? It was a plump hey, pleasing pleasure. Lay plum. As well as a privilege to join you tonight. Hold on, give give these people one good smile. She looks like me, doesn't she? My dad probably won't like that. <laughs> See you later, mom. You, 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 everyone caught that whatever, right? Good job. So in closing, I wanted just to give you guys, see, that is black girl beauty. Me and my mother have come a long way. And like she said, I'm also working on building a better relationship with my mom. Because one thing about it, and this goes for any parent, you're never too old to need a mom. You're never too old to need a dad. You're never too old to learn something. You're never too old to tap into the confidence that was given to you. This is black girl beauties, ladies. Black girl beauty ladies and gentlemen and i'm gonna close out by letting you guys know that you can if you haven't yet joined the black girl beauty you i can tell you that drink concoction that i made was really good we're gonna always have a good drink concoction so i'm gonna go ahead and give you one more rundown we use the donato select vodka this can be purchased around the atlanta stores area i drop a few stores where you can grab this and of course Chile. Taylor, Taylor, Port, wine, this 18%, ladies and gentlemen, this on a good night could just be you. So you mix those two. We did three shots of the Taylor Port and one shot of the Donato. That drink is called Do Not O Play With Me. Because as you can see, you can not O Play With Me. That is the drink. So what I want to end with, let me see, what do I want to end with? I'm going to end with confidence because, ladies and gentlemen, we have to understand that confidence is key when it comes to stepping out and being who we want to be. This live right here took a whole lot of confidence to be able to come in front of you guys and be authentic and share everything that I'm going to share because we're going to tap into a whole lot more elements when we get close to the further we move into black girl beauty this is just this was just a live to let you guys know what we are who we are what we offer and who we're trying to reach i want to touch every young black woman that is out there that is trying to be better than she was yesterday i'm not trying to say you're trying to be better than the woman in front of you or better than anybody other than the woman that you were yesterday that is where we're going excuse me that is black girl confidence and that is black girl beauty and confidence is key. However, confidence requires belief. It takes belief to keep going and push you when you need to succeed. When you have the mind to succeed, you will succeed. It takes confidence to be strong when you feel you have no strength. When your mind is confident, your body will win. Truth be told, 
Confidence is key, ladies and gentlemen. Tap into your inner confidence. Tap into your inner strength. Get to know you and don't be afraid of anything standing in front of you. That is faith, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't go deep into it because I wanted to let you guys know everything that Black Girl Beauty has going on, but it begins with faith. I told you the power of you that I'm writing has a flu step system. Step one is faith because it is faith that got me here today and it is faith that has pushed me so far. There's a difference between having faith and believing in whatever it is you believe in because when you have faith, you know that you can do all things I'm going to say, because my faith is in God, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That doesn't mean that you won't go through things. That just means that when you go through things, you will not go through them alone. And I, I, I will tell you, I have never been more peaceful. I have never been more powerful. I have never been more confident than I am right now. And strengthening my relationship with God is what got me here. Strengthening my relationship with God is what got me in front of you guys, showing you Black Girl Beauty. Because it doesn't matter however you try to demean it, however you try to pull it down. Faith takes you a long way. Faith carries you when you feel like you can't go anywhere else. Black girl beauty begins with faith. Tapping into what it is that pushes you to keep going when you feel like you have no strength. A friend of mine told me a quote. And it's discipline beats. What is it? Discipline beats. I don't even know. Discipline beats. I don't know what the word he said was. I have to look it up. But it's discipline takes you a whole motivation. Discipline beats motivation. Because sometimes you're going to wake up. There are going to be days you wake up and you are just so unmotivated. You just, I, I don't feel like doing it. I, yesterday was a bad day. Things haven't turned around for me as quickly as they can or as I thought they would. Those are the days where discipline is going to push you. Those are the days where discipline is going to make you get up and do what you want because you said that you were going to do it. We have to, black girl beauty is standing on who we are. And one thing about it, you are only as strong as your word. Be a woman that does what she says she's going to do when she says she's going to do it and how she says she's going to do it. That, ladies and gentlemen, it's Black Girl Beauty. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not yet joined our blackgirlbeauty.org group, please shoot me a DM and I will send you an invite. This is a ladies group only. It's free and open to discussion. We sit down, we discuss Black Girl Beauty topics. We give, we support each other. We come in there. You can vent if you want to. And it is, it is a free and respectable playing ground we do not disrespect each other that is another thing that black women are, that we are trying to help build in the black woman community you don't have to disrespect each other to prove your point we don't have to argue about everything and like i spoke on earlier when i said my toxic trait is sometimes i just need to be quiet sometimes it ain't even that serious for you to be going as hard as you're going sometimes we get so worked up about things that aren't even important and knowing who you are, that's what I said, the difference between who you are and who you want to be is sometimes a sacrifice. Because sometimes the person that you want to be can't be mixed up in the argument over here dealing with nonsense. Because I'll tell you one thing, when you're arguing with a fool, people outside looking in don't know who the fool is. Both of y'all look like fools. Two fools having a foolish argument. That's not black girl beauty, ladies and gentlemen. We are stepping outside of our element. We are stepping outside of things that we have been doing. And we are tapping into our inner strength and our inner beauty confidently. 